Carrie, and I'm here at the Fairfield County District Library. I'm here to share some Pride Month reads with you. First, I have You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. This book was fun and full of heart. Liz, the main character, she had her plan all figured out for college, but when a scholarship fell through, she and her band of misfit friends uh, schemed a new plan to have her elected prom queen, which was pretty much the last thing that she would have expected for herself. It was just a really lighthearted way to deal with some pretty serious issues like mental and physical illness, um, the death of her mother, um, and she is a queer black student in a Midwestern town. Next we have Felix Ever After by Kaysen Callender. This is a nice coming of age story, very realistic, um, about his sort of birth family and his chosen family. Um, it also deals with first crushes, first loves, social media, growing up, and mistakes made along the way. If you're looking for a graphic novel, I've got Mooncakes here. Mooncakes is a really cute, fun, quirky book. Um, it deals with witchcraft, has a non-binary character, great illustrations. It's a really fun read. Also a graphic novel, I have Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. And this one is a bit heavier in the content. Um, it sort of deals with getting out of the cycle of a toxic relationship and rediscovering oneself in that process. For a nonfiction, I have No Way, They Were Gay? This is a really well-researched, well-rounded book. Um, it includes a collection of folks you've heard of that you probably have no idea were queer and folks that you may not have heard of. Next we have the Pool of the Stars by Emma Donahue. You may recognize Emma Donahue from books such as Room and Frog Music. This book is set in 1918 Dublin during a flu pandemic, um, and the uh, main character is a nurse in a midwifery ward. It's very fast paced and intense, and I don't want to give too much away, but there are two women who fall in love in this book. Next we have Cantoras. This is set in 1977 Uruguay and um, it's set under a military dictatorship where homosexuality is illegal. Um, despite that, these five women create sort of a sanctuary for themselves and it's a really beautiful story of chosen family and being proud of your identity even when the circumstances are far less than ideal and it's just a really beautiful story of resilience. Next here we have a memoir, How We Fight for Our Lives by Saeed Jones. This is a memoir of a young gay black man and his coming of age, coming out, the literal and figurative dangers he faces and his relationship with both his mother and his grandmother. For something a bit lighter, for those of you who are just curious and trying to keep up with new terminology, new identities, this quick and easy guide series is a great series of quick read graphic novels that will keep you informed. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to pick up a make and take craft for Pride Week at the library. Thanks.